Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Nice to see you. Nice to hi. see you. How are you today? Hi. Fine. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Teacher. Hola. Hola, mire, yo todavía estoy trabajando, voy a estar de oyente. Ok. Y otra cosa, con respecto a lo de mi usuario, me lo dieron de baja y me volvieron a crear uno. Entonces, todas las actividades las tengo que empezar desde cero otra vez. Por eso quizás no le aparezcan. Mm, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, a mí también, solo que yo sí ya realicé este, la, las actividades, la volví a hacer, porque no me permitía cambiar el nombre del usuario. Ok, o sea que eso le va a pasar a los cuatro que, a los cuatro que tenían, que no tenían el nombre completo como usuario. Eh, a mí me lo registraron con otro correo, entonces por eso es que... Es como otra nueva plataforma. Mm, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Ya le voy a verificar. A ver qué me aparece. Sí, es que siempre es bien importante que se registren con el, con el nombre. Sí, Adriana ya me aparece con el 100%. Diego Batres. Ah, va, ok. Entonces le, yes. tocaría que, uh -huh. le tocaría que entrar ya por este otro, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok, perfecto. ¿Y quiénes más estaban? Alexis y Carolina. ¿Verdad? No sé si Carolina está aquí. Carolina. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Vaya, tiene que hacer lo mismo y hace, eh, hacer el cambio de que tiene que aparecerme en la plataforma con su, con su nombre completo. Entonces, Vea si eh, logra hacer el cambio. Ya lo okay, más sí, que voy a revisar porque si sí lo tenía con nombre completo. Uh -uh. Quizás eso me lo cambió el solito. No, C de Cobo. Ah, no, Carolina Abigail, espérame, no. ¿Quién es C de Cobo entonces? C de Cobos. ¿Quién se puso C de Cobos? Sí, no, Carolina sí está a cabal con el nombre completo. No es Carolina Abigail, entonces. Vamos a ver quién. Porque sí hay alguien que se puso CD Cobos. Tendría que ver Carolina, Claudia Carolina. Ajá. Claudia Carolina no here yet, right? Let's see. No, no por si es Claudia Carolina. Va, ok. Dos me quedan entonces pendientes. Muy bien. Adriana, Diego, ya estamos bien. ¿Verdad? Entonces, sí, Diego. En el transcurso de la semana puede eh, completar los ejercicios para agregarle, para que al final me tire su, su promedio de nota cabal, ¿verdad? Entonces sí le tocaría que volver a hacer la unidad 1. Hoy. Ok, thank you. Ok, vamos a ver. Sí. Okay, Los Angélica, muy bien. Bye. I'm checking attendance. 
So let's see, we are in class number five, no, number six. Class number six. Adriana Marcela. Present, Present teacher. Yes. Ana Alicia. Here I am. Nice. Eh, Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Present. Au. Ok, Claudia Carolina, ¿verdad? Yes. Vaya, Claudia Carolina, este, eh, revisó si me puede cambiar el usuario. No, ya no revisé. Voy a revisarlo ahorita. Va, perfecto. Sí, porque tienen que cambiar el usuario y ponerse su nombre completo. ¿Verdad? Para poder trabajar. Y siempre que trabajen en la plataforma, siempre pónganse el nombre completo. Oye. Eh, Diego Batres. Present. Ok. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elmer Alexis. Elmer Alexis, no. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Jonathan David. Jonathan. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie Karen Stephanie Carla Lorena Presentiche Kevin René. Kevin. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Noé Ortiz. Presente, teacher. Rosa Hilda. Presente, teacher. Mario Ángel. Mario. Mario Ángel. No. No, no, no here. Luz Angélica. Joana Ruth. Okay. Joana Ruth. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Marina Vanessa. Present. Marina. Sí, presente. Ok. David Alexander. Presente, teacher. Ok, nice, nice, nice. Bueno, let's start then. José Alfredo, ahí está y no me dijo present. Sí, lo que pasa es que no sé si se me escucha bien. No, no Estoy le. Estoy teniendo problemas con el audio. No le escuché. José Alfredo. Bye. 
ओके वेल 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 आई विल सी आई ले वी प्रेजेंट टीचर बाय लेट्स शेयर दिस इज क्लास नंबर नंबर सिक्स कम ऑन आ वर्ता सी के ल टाइम वा सुपर 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 बोलांडो इमेजिन I'm going to share the screen. A ver, this is the vocabulary we were talking about last week. Remember, cost, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity, and inventory. Let's make the matching. What is a particular amount of of anything? A quantity. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's get a pen. Quantity. Mm -hmm. A complete listing of merchandise or stock on hand. Inventory. Mm -hmm. The price paid to cash to get something. Cost. Cost. The number of times a company sells its inventory a year. Inventory turnover. Uh huh. Inventory. Turnover. And number five. To get stock. Uh -huh. To get more product or, or inventory stock. Okay. Nice. That was only refreshing, right? Refreshing, refreshing your mind about last week's vocabulary. Mm -hmm. bah. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're going to start today with this new structure and it's there is and there are. So first thing we will do is uh, practice this conversation. Repeat, my name is Tom, nice to meet you. My name is Tom. My name nice is Tom, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet, nice you, to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I am Orson. Orson. I work for Hodge. I, I work, work for, for Hodge. Hodge. Oh, I know that company. Oh, oh, oh I, I know, know, that, know company. that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. There is there an, office an office in, in San Salvador downtown. downtown. Yes, there is. We're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. Yes, yes, we're, we're growing, growing but there is so are not there many are branches not in the country. Yet. The country yet. There are few. There, are, there few. are few. What company do you work for? What, what company, company do you work for? for? Yeah. I work for Echo. I work, I work for, Echo. for Echo. The painting company. The, the painting, painting company. 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 There are 25 branches in the country. There are, there are, are 25 branches, branches in the country. country. That's great. That's, That's, great. Great. That's great. great. I visited one of the stores the other day. I visited, I visited one, one of one the stores the, store the, other the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there yeah. are six in San Salvador. 
We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. We are planning, planning on launching, launching one in Santa Ana these days. Santana these days. There isn't one yet. There, there isn't, isn't one, one yet. yet. Okay, one more time. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. My name, My is, name is Tom. Nice to, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to, nice meet, to meet you too. too. I'm Orson. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. Oh, I know, I know that, that company. company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. There is, there is an, an office, office in San Salvador, San Salvador downtown. downtown. Yes, we're growing. Yes, yes we're growing. growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. So, so there are not many, many branches, branches, branches in the country, in the country yet. yet. There are few. There are, there few, are a few, few. What company do you work for? What, what company, company do you work, do you work, for? work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. I, I work, work for the, 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 the painting, painting company. company. There are 25 branches in the country. Yeah, there, there, are are 20, branches, there are 25 branches, branches in the country. country. There are 25 branches in the country. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. That's, That's great. great. I visited one of the stores the other day. I visited, I visited one of the other days. Yeah, there are yeah. six in San Salvador. Yeah, yeah. there are six, are six in San Salvador. Salvador. We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. We are, we are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. There isn't is one, one yet. yet. Nice. Nice, nice. Any questions, chicos, about vocabulary or pronunciation? Question? Growing? Growing. Yes, teacher. What is the meaning? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Growing means creciendo. Estamos creciendo. Okay. Y yet means toda, todavía. Todavía. Launching, teacher. Launching. Yet, yet lo ocupamos para eh, negativo o question. Vení, pues. <laughs> Tenemos visita. Eh, launching means lanzar, right? We are planning to on launching one. Estamos plan pensando en Lanzar una en Santa Ana en estos días, they say. That's launching. Mm -hmm. jet, jet es todavía o aún. Y lo ocupamos para preguntas, pero también para negativas. Todavía no hay una, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me, Edwin. Teacher. Yes. Uh, bran branches. Branches son ramas. Uh -huh. Ramas. Como sucursales. Ajá. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, eh, sí, en este caso serían sucursales, ¿verdad? O ramas. Uh -huh. Tell me, Adriana. Uh, can you repeat the correct pronunciation of visit in the past? Visited? Is that visited. okay? Uh -huh. Or visited. Or you okay, say visited, right? British visited. I visited one of the stores the other day. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Pronunciation or vocabulary? Mm? No? No more teacher. <laughs> Okay, well, we are going to go to the rooms. I'm going to, to send you in pairs. 
for you to practice the conversation. There will be a couple of groups, two groups of three. <laughs> No, three groups of three. Por los que están trabajando ahorita, right? Va. There we go. Okay, Basha, Ana, Ana Luis San Luz. Okay, Carolina, Grace, no way. ¿Quién es el otro que está de oyente? Ah, Diego, ¿verdad? Bye. Es que los que están de oyentes los dejo en un grupo de tres para que puedan oír, ya que no pueden leer. Ok, ok, ok. Va. Creo que estamos bien. Los voy a estar moviendo, oyen, para que ustedes puedan estar practicando con varios compañeros. Los voy a estar moviendo. Okay, there we go. Ready? Teacher, Hola. perdón, este, yo voy manejando, tuve que salir. Está manejando, Luis. ¿Me puedes poner de gente? Sí, por favor. Ay, qué bueno Gracias. que me dice, porque cabal, estaba dejando en un grupo okay. de los que iba a tener. Vamos a hacer el cambio. What page? Teacher, excuse me. Oops. No sé. Porque este ya lo dejé. Lighting. La dejé lista el viernes. Ya no sé qué página estamos. Espérame, voy a ver. I found it. 19, thank ah, you. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, 19. Ok. Vaya. Allá vamos. ¿Alguien más va manejando para que lo mande a un grupo de tres? Eh, yo, yo voy manejando. Jonathan. Jonathan, sí, gracias. Igual, igualmente yo, teacher. ¿Y usted David. dónde anda? David anda manejando. Ya para la casa. Ah, vaya. Vamos a ver. Igual yo, yo, yo igual para la casa. Vaya. Vaya, tengo a Ana, Luis Mauricio y Luz Angélica. Luz Angélica está oyente. Carolina Abigail, Carla Lorena y Luis Edgardo, Luis Edgardo manejando. Adriana, Kevin y Rosa, Kevin trabajando. Claudia, Carolina, Grace, Noé. No sé si Grace está activa hoy. Grace. Yes, teacher. Hoy sí está activa en clase. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ah, va, perfecto. Así la dejo. Noé, ya estamos en casita, Noé. Just in eh, my house. Excelente. Vaya, vamos a mover entonces acá. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Jonathan. Uy, Jonathan fue abandonado por su compañero que tenía. Vaya, lo, voy a lo voy a mandar al grupo de Karen y Joana. Hoy. Vamos a moverlo. Gracias. Ok, bye. Hoy sí, estamos todos listos. Ready. Allá vamos. Nice. Try to join.
Eh, cheque, José Alfredo, que ya lo mandé. Cambié de cor. Ah, voy a ver si lo puedo compartir yo. Me voy a sentar aquí, porque no. Sí, no se podrá ahora. Ay, sí. Sí, me digo. Sí, es que puede. Sí, bien, imagínate. Ay, qué Oh, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, uh -huh. si gusta, eh, empiezo yo y la siguiente nos, nos intercambiamos. Sí, está bien. My name is Stone. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Oj. Oh, I know that company. The, there is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for, um, recuerdo si se pronunciaba siempre Echo. <laughs> Echo. Okay, I work for Echo. The painting company, there are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning or on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay. Voy a iniciar usted, ¿verdad? Sí. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we're, go we're going, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are many. The first one will be, there are three offices. Are three offices in, in San Salvador. San Salvador. Uh -huh. Did you finish practicing pronunciation, chicos? Yes, teacher. No se me vayan a las preguntas todavía. Pronunciation, practice the conversation. Okay, let's do it again. I am Tom. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, quiero ver si puedo compartir ahora. Teacher, me ayuda. Hello, teacher. No, quiere que comparta yo. Sí, por favor. <laughs> okay. Es que no pude compartir hace rato. Ah. Ah, ya puedo. Ah. Okay. I like it. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you me. too. Sorry. <laughs> Está en... <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Nice to meet you too. I also I work for Osh. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing, and so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visit I visit one of the store the, uh, the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. 
Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Launching is like vis visited. Eh, no, launching es que están lanzando. Ah, mm. they're planning on launching mm. one in Santa Ana. Van a lanzar una nueva, una nueva okay. sucursal. Ah, okay. ok. Now you start, please. Ok, my name is Tom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson, I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the pining company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, chicos. Me voy. Okay. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye. Hi. 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 <laughs> Did you finish, chicas? Yes. Yes. Bye. Yes. Now it's time for you then to start answering the questions. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. Vamos a question. Fill in the blank to complete the following sentence. 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 The. Que llenar los espacios en blanco. Sí, ajá. It's only three sentences. It's only three. The first is there are. There are. Puedo lanzar una. Lanzar una en Santa Ana estos días. Mm -hmm. No hay ninguna ahí. No hay ninguna ahí. Para que está la teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. If you finish, you can go to the questions. Marina tenía. Este. O, o ya no. Ya no, porque ya las, ya las evacuamos, creo. Ok. Pues al, diríamos al, al ejercicio 3, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. There are three offices. En San Salvador. Tres en San Salvador. La primera sería There are, ¿verdad? porque son tres oficinas sí. en San Salvador. San there are. Ah, porque there are. Y es que uh -huh. está el uso de There is y There are. ¿verdad? There are, exactly. Uh -huh. En el dos sería there is porque es una, uh -huh. es singular. Y también la última, there are ninguna, es ¿eh? verdad. Uh -huh. de, there are, ¿verdad? Ahí sí nos agarró. No sé. <risa> <risa> ¿Teacher? There is o there are. Aquí estoy. <risa> Vaya, number one. Uh -huh. There are. There are. Mm -hmm. Number two. There is. Uh -huh. Number three. Ni, eh, there are. There are not. No, no. Set the chart. There, there are, are not any. Uh -huh. Any. Uh -huh. sí, there are not any. Uh, there are right. not any. Okay. There are not any in this region. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's okay, there aren't any. There aren't any, any stores in this region. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ahí se puede considerar como plural, ¿verdad? Porque dice, sí. no hay ninguna. Sí, generalmente no decimos there are not, sino que there aren't. ¿Verdad? Se usa como uh -huh. contraction. Así suena más fluido, más natural. Uh -huh. There are uh -huh. any of them. Exacto. Uh -huh. 
When you finish, right, Melo Chepo? Um, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Gracias. Let's go, let's go. Y yo va de hablar y callada aquí. Vaya. Silencio. Qué barbaridad. Vaya. Do I have volunteers? Volunteers, volunteers. Yes. yes. Listen to me. A ver, a ver, number one. Teacher, please. Sharing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cher, <cher>. Yes, please. <laughs> you, cher. <laughs> Vaya, vamos a ver. Okay. Me, Tom, there. Okay. <laughs> there is or there are? There are. There are. Okay. Because it says three. Ah. Okay. Okay. There are. There are three offices. Yes. What about the next one? That is. That is. That is. And number three. There are. Mm -hmm. There are not any, right? There are not any. Normally, this type of sentence would be like this. With the contraction. ¿Verdad? Ese sería como que lo más común que podrían encontrar. With contraction. There aren't any. When you say there aren't any offices in this region. There aren't any stores in this neighborhood. For example, where I live, there aren't any stores. If you want to buy something, go to the supermarket. Because here, there are no stores. <laughs> Imagine. But let's see. Let's talk about the structure, right? Single, uh, there is and there are. And we say that we use there is for singular nouns. And we use there are for plural nouns, right? Today, we are going to study that, for example, when we're talking about a countable or uncountable nouns, we also use there is, see? A countable nouns sing in singular, there is. A uncountable nouns, there is. So you say, there aren't any schools, there isn't any water. There isn't any water left. Is there any water? Is there any water? Hmm? No. No, there isn't any water left. Are there any televisions in your house? Are there any televisions? Yes, there are. Yes, yes there are. Yes, there are many televisions. Oh, yes, there is one television. Right? There is one, check. There is one office in San Salvador. There are three, plural, distribution centers. There are three distribution centers in Ilopanco. There is not a store. Or if we want to use the abbreviation, there isn't a store. Is there a store? Is there a store no, in the there area? isn't. No, there isn't a store, okay? 
there are not many places to have a meeting. There are no and there are no many places to go on a bicycle here in the city, right? There are no many places to ride a bicycle. There are no many places to go for a walk. Now look at this. We use there is and there are, we said, we use there is for singular and there are for plural, right? So you say there is a star, there are some stars. There isn't a star, there aren't any stars. Is there a star? Are there any stars? Check that when we are using plural, we use any in the question and we use any in the negative. Okay, so you say there isn't a, but there aren't any. Is there a or are there any? Okay. Is there, Mr. is there a star? A star. <laughs> is there a star? Is there a star? Yes or no? I suppose there are stars. <laughs> is there a star? Probably, right? Yes, there is a star. Are there any, any stars? Are there any stars today? If it's yes, not cloudy, are. if it's there, if it's not rain, probably there are some stars, right? But if we say, uh, you can say, yes, there are, you can give a short answer. Oh yes, there are some stars. So no, there aren't any stars. Yes, there is. Yes, there is a star. No, there isn't a star. Check. There is or there isn't with a one singular, right? Depending. If your if your uh, noun begins with a consonant or with a vowel, there are some for plural nouns in affirmative. There are some, but there aren't any, there aren't any for plurals. Or are there any if you want to make a question for plural? I don't know if you have any questions at this point. Mm -hmm. Only if there is and there are, we can use it for people persons, animals, and things. For whatever you want, yeah, for whatever you want. So you say there are some people in the parking lot. There are some, car, some cars. There aren't any children at school crying now because it's night, right? There aren't any televisions in the room, or oh, there isn't a television in the room. Mm -hmm. Any question? question? Teacher, uh, what is the different? Um, there is one M, there is A. Is that, a there is no difference. There is no difference. Not difference. No. Difference. no. Okay. I, okay. I similar to say one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can say there is one car in the parking lot or there is a car in the parking lot. There is no difference. Mm -hmm. Any other okay, question? Okay, teacher. Okay. Any other question here? Okay, then let's go check. For positive sentences, we use there is singular, right? There are for plural, we already know that. Look at the examples. There is one table, check here you have one instead of a. There is one table in the classroom. There are three chairs in the classroom. There is a spider in the bath. There are many people at the bus stop. Yeah, there is, there are, okay? We also use there is when we're talking about uncountable nouns. So you say there is milk in the fridge. There is some sugar. Cheque que some lo podemos usar con los plurales, pero también con los uncountable. 
¿verdad? There is some sugar on the table. There is ice cream on your shirt. Hey, look, there is ice cream on your shirt. Yeah. So if you're talking about uncountable, como no lo puede contar, no puede decir, hay leche en la refri. No, hay leche. Right? No hay leches. So you say there is. There is milk in the refrigerator. There is some sugar on the table. There is sugar. There is some sugar. There is a little sugar. Okay? Vamos a ver. Contractions. The contractions of there is, is there's. There's. There is a good song. Oh, there's a good song. There is only one chocolate left in the box. But there's only one chocolate left in the box. So you can use the contraction, not a problem. That there are doesn't have a contraction. So you say there are nine cats on the roof. Uy, qué triste, ¿verdad? Nine cats on the roof. There are only five weeks until my birthday. How many weeks are there before vacation? There are two weeks before vacation. Yes? There are only two weeks before vacation. See? No contraction. I cannot say there, right? That's not possible. Not possible. There is, there's a good song. But there are nine cats. There are only five weeks. Okay? Now, in negative, we use not after there is or there are. There is not a horse in the field. There are not mm -hmm. eight children in the school. There is not a tree. There are not two elephants in the zoo. Or you can use there's not. Or there isn't. This is like the most common. There isn't, there aren't for the negative, right? So almost always, we almost always use it with contraction when we're talking about negative. Unless, remember what I always tell you, unless you want to give a lot of emphasis, then you don't use a contraction, right? Now, there aren't with any. If you're making it in negative, let me make it bigger. If you are a, talking about negatives, you use any. Yeah? There aren't any. There aren't any people at the party. There aren't any people at the party. There aren't any children in the park today. Yeah. There aren't any days off this week. Mm -hmm. There aren't. There aren't any trees in my street. And with uncle, that is with plural, right? Plural. Check. But if you're using uncountable, you say there isn't any water. So any can be used in negative for plural, but also in negative when we're talking about uncountable things. Remember, we were talking about a couple of courses ago that uncountable things are things that we cannot count. Okay, then you say there isn't any water in the swimming pool. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. Is there sugar in your, is there any sugar in your coffee? Mm -mm. No, there isn't any sugar in my coffee. Yes. Now, when you're making questions, what we do is that we put the, the question at the, the verb to be at the beginning, right? So you say, is there a dog in the supermarket? No, there isn't. Are there any dogs in the park? Yes, there are. Is there a security guard in the shop? Yes, there is. Are there any polar bears in the Antarctica? No, there aren't. Is there any ice cream in the freezer? 
Yes, it is. Because, you know, we use is there with uncountable, right? So in the question, it doesn't change. It's the same. Is there any ice cream? Are there any polar bears? Are there any dogs? Yeah. Any question, chicos? Questions, questions? No. No. Thank you. Okay. Batch. And I have a question. Sí. I have a question. What yeah. happens if you if I use there are with uncountable things? No, you can't. It's I not can't. correct. No. Definitely, okay. definitely no. Okay. Okay. Uh, because as you cannot count it, no puede decir una aguas o unas leche, right? Sometimes uh, people from other countries. When they are trying to learn Spanish, they speak like that, but it's not possible, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thanks. check. When we use how many, how many those are there? How many students are there? I guess cuantos hay, right? Remember how many, we're counting. How many students are there in your class? How many countries are there in South America? How many Star Wars films are there? About seven, eight, nine, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So you say how many? How many tortillas are there in your refrigerator? Hmm? There is no one. There is, there is, there are no tortillas in your refrigerator. Okay. How many students are there in class today? Hmm? Twenty-one. Twenty-two. How many tortillas? No. Twenty-three. How many students are there in class today? There are twenty. One <laughs> students, a couple of minutes ago, like 30 seconds, there were 22, okay? Uh -huh. But right now there are 21 students in class. How many lessons have we studied? How many lessons have we studied? There are six, there yes, are six we lessons. have studied. Hemos este curso? There are six. No, in este curso. Bueno, lesson six, verdad? Pero units. And this is the second. How many units? Hmm? Unit two. One. Only one? Only one. We have studied only one unit. Okay. Now, vamos a ver. Here, I have some sentences for you to put in order. Mm -hmm. Put that sentence in order, please. Mm -hmm. There is a tall boy on the sofa. There is a tall boy in the sofa. Yeah, on the sofa. On the sofa. Uh -huh. Okay. A ver. There is a beautiful dress in a closet. In your closet. In your closet. Okay. There, there is a beautiful dress in your closet. Very good. Yeah, que galán, verdad? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
negative. There isn't any information on the leaflet. Mm -hmm. There isn't any information on the leaflet. What is that mean, Left, leaflet? The leaflet is como un li librillo, así chiquito. No sé cómo se, cuadernillo, eh, pero no es librillo. <laughs> like a brochure? No. Ah, no, es, es no. como... Folleto? Folleto. Uh -huh. um, exactly. Hasta, let's see the next one. Mm -hmm. There isn't anybody to help me with the map. Uh -huh. There isn't anybody to help me with the map. Mm -hmm. There isn't anybody to help me with the map. Okay. There is a funny girl in my French class. Mm -hmm. There is a funny girl in my French class. Nice. There are some there books are. in the library. Mm -hmm. There are some books in the library. Thank you. What about this one? There aren't any DJs club. No. There are aren't, there aren't any Vietnamese DJ at the club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. There are a lot of delicious cakes on the table. There are a few monkeys on the tree. Mm -hmm. There are a few monkeys on the tree, nice. There are a few teenagers. There are a few teenagers at the rock concert. Mm -hmm. There are a few teenagers at the rock concert, very good. Okay, now, you're going to make sentences here using there is and there are. Books on the table. Many cars in the street. I'm going to send you to the groups for you to complete this exercise. But before, we are going to call attendance. Okay? Mm -hmm. Better. I'm going to send you... But before I send you to the to the to the rooms, we are going to call attendance. Eh, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present. Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elmer Alexis. Present. Elmer Alexis. No here Elmer Alexis, ¿verdad? Grace Mitchell. Grace. Mm 
Jonathan David. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Qué bueno que ha logrado quedarse. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. <coughs> Oops. Bless you. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay. Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Vaya, vamos a ver. Carolina, ¿cómo le fue con el cambio? Fíjese que le dije acá al chico de que, que, que puede apoyar. Me dijo que si había creado otra cuenta y le dije que no, que no he creado otra cuenta. Entonces, este, ya no me contestó. No, no dígale, que, dígale que lo que hizo fue ponerse un número de usuario y no su nombre. Ah, eso fue lo que le dije, que no es que, cre que cree otra cuenta, sino que eh, me pidió usuario y yo le puse ese, que es el que usualmente uso, entonces, y, y ahorita ya no lo pude cambiar. O sea, me, no, ya no me contestó. Debe estar resolviendo alguna otra situación. Ajá. O viendo a ver qué puede hacer. Sí, este, porque sí. Vaya. Siempre recuerden, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa aquí, si le pide usuario, en la plataforma tiene tienes que ser siempre su nombre. Hoy, siempre, siempre, siempre es el nombre. Porque a la hora de recoger las notas, si no a mí se me complica. ¿Y quién es? ¿Y quién es? ¿Y quién es? Pero entonces tiene que ir con su nombre completo porque ahí yo recojo las notas para la lista que reporto. ¿Verdad? Así es que ojalá que lo logre hacer ahorita, no vaya a ser que le toque como a Adriana, que tuvo que, que al hacer el cambio se le borró lo que había trabajado, entonces mejor ahorita que apenas, que pues sí que solo han hecho una unidad, ¿verdad? Y no más allá cuando ya hayan hecho más. Ok. Sí, Pero, este mañana, tal vez me tiene alguna respuesta mañana. Sí, sí, yo esperaría que ya mañana le puedan dar una, una respuesta. Verdad. Ok. Bueno, lo, ah, que, lo que hicieron con nosotros fue de que nos elimina, nos pidieron otro correo electrónico para eliminar el que ya tenemos porque no permite según lo que me dijeron a mí. Entonces no sé si le van a solicitar lo mismo a usted que tenga otro correo electrónico para vincularlo con la cuenta. Con otro. Ah, correo. sí, porque me dijo y creó otra cuenta y yo no, no creo otra cuenta, ¿verdad? Solamente cuando estaba Haciendo lo del logueo, me pidió usuario. Entonces yo le puse el usuario y, <ríe> y entonces. Ay, bueno, hoy ya saben, hoy ya saben, para la, para la próxima. Hoy ya sabemos. <ríe> para la próxima, ya saben. Vaya, yo voy a crear grupos. Vamos a hacer different groups. I'm going to send you in groups of two. Vamos a ver, Karen, Carla, Kevin, Grace, Jonathan, José Alfredo, Analicia, Joana, Marina, David, Luis Edgardo ya llegó a casita o sigue manejando. Ya casi. Okay. Sí, ya casi. Vaya. Teacher, I am very lapel by the moment. You are, you are available. Hey, nice, Diego. Yes. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Sí, pero estoy monitoreando para que no se me quede solito alguien allí, porque algún otro va todavía manejando. 
Eh, yo creo que estamos bien. Va, allá vamos. Les voy a poner el ejercicio. Eh, lo angélica no yet, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver lo angélica. ¿Dónde está? A ver. Ah, pero Claudia y Karen están acá, no problema. Vale. Este, I'm going to share, I'm going to share the exercise there in the chat. Oye, check it. Here, in this one, you have only affirmative. These are only affirmative. In the other one, you will be using questions. Me voy a poner las tres fotitos de un ave. So you have affirmative, negative, and questions. Okay. Va, allá vamos. Teacher, but you only send us one thing. Ah, no, no, no. Okay. I say nothing. Uh -huh. Ya vio, ya vio. Ahí van. Tres. Bacha. There you go. Try to join. Join, join. Ah, sí. Sí. There are Go. many on the table. On the table. Sería igual. There are sí. There are many cars, many cars in the street. Hola, la está haciendo ya de un solo, ya de un solo, sí. Sí. Ok, yo creo que sí la estoy pasando. <ríe> Vaya, ah, entonces. No, <ríe> There is a picture on the wall. Mm -hmm. There is a picture. There is a picture on the wall. Yes. Yeah. 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 Eh, las cinco, ¿verdad? Ahí sería There are many Three, three In the forest uh -huh. mm -hmm. no, no, sí. there, there is a cat Somos or... de uno es Are there Are there Ok 
Any bananas in the basket? Are there any bananas in the basket, sir? Sí. Así es. Are there? Sería trees in the park. Are there trees in the park? Sería ahora si te decís que are there es para más de uno sería como correcto. Are there trees in the park? Mm -hmm. We complete the sentence using the easier part. Esa es la última, la última actividad. Correcto. Eh, de ahí irían ah, cualquiera, las negaciones o las afirmaciones. Como habla de, de, de gente, sería there aren't Many people is in the street, right? ¿En cuáles estás? En las afirmaciones. Eh, en, eh, en la, ah, no sé, en, 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 yo sé en las negaciones, pero no sé. Tenemos ah, que ser. Uh -huh. eh, no, there aren't many people in the streets. Uh -huh. This area, any Buddha in the fridge? There isn't any Buddha. Ah, no, sería como eh, any Buddha. Any es todo, any es todo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En, espérame, que estoy con el, ah, uh, any Buddha. ¿Cuál? En la segunda. Eh, there isn't. Any butter, butter, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Butter. 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 Mm -hmm. In the fridge. Uh -huh. Correcto. Sí, eso es como mantequilla. Uh -huh. no, no hay Margarina. mantequilla. Margarina. No hay mantequilla en el refrigerador. Al, ninguna sería. No, any. Any es muy... Nada, in that case. Because it's not contable. Ah, ok. No hay nada de mantequilla. No hay nada. Ok. Ok, entonces sería la siguiente. Any plates on the table? There, there aren't any plates on the table, right? Sí, there aren't. Any meat in the bottle? Yeah. So yeah, there isn't any meal in the bottle. Okay, one and the ultimate one, but there isn't any coffee in the cup. Okay. Cookies. Cookies. Cookies? Singular or plural? Cookies is a plural. Mm -hmm. Pero no, en la cinco dice coffee. Sería... Coffee is oh, any coffee. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eso sería. Ah, y de ahí están las afirmaciones. Ah, ves a la... Teacher, I have a question. Can me, Diego? Es, eh, de las imágenes solo es de completarlas, ¿verdad? Que nos mandó aquí al grupo de WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Ok, solo vamos a, a diferenciar si there is, there are, there isn't, there are. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Okay, Carolina, my number three. You. Uh, 
kind of loan. Hello, I'm alone. No, Diego. <laughs> okay. Estás <laughs> solito. <laughs> Barbarita. Claudia, Carolina. No, Carolina. Pero, ya vienes. Solo me estoy pasando a la, a la laptop. Por aquí estoy eh. escuchando. Okay. There is a picture on the wall. There is a pencil near the book. Uh, there are many trees in the forest. There is a cat under the table. There are seven apples in the fridge. Uh, there is a dog in the house. There is a monkey on the tree. There are many rooms in my house. Now exercise number two. Uh, there aren't many people in the streets. Uh, number two, uh, there isn't any butter, se dice, butter. Butter. Butter, butter. butter in the fridge. There aren't any plates on the table. There is any milk on the bottle, in the bottle. In the bottle. Uh, there isn't any coffee in, in the cup. Okay, exercise number three. Is there an opera on your city? Number two, are there many girls in your class? Number three, is there a police station near the hospital? Number four, are there any bananas in the basket? Number five, are there trees in the park? Excellent. Yeah, so we are done. Teacher. I is a teacher. Hi, teacher. We're done. Hi, hi. Okay, excellent. Este, an opera. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Hi. We have a big question. Yes. A big, <laughs> big debate. Very, very <laughs> uh -huh. We have a uh, the interrogant with the exercise number two. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll say complete the sentences uses e using is there or are there. Uh, the question number one is the one that we have the question. <laughs> that Because we think that are there uh, uh, is listening very good but we don't know if that is okay because uh, the question say, say only an opera, I mean, only one. So we don't know, we have the question. You are in questions, right? Yes, in questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Is singular so, or plural? An opera is singular. Singular. So, is there? <laughs> but, but listen, a, a good. Pronunciation, a good, a good listening. <laughs> is there an opera? Are there? I wouldn't know. Is there an opera? Ah, uh, and I creemos que se escucha bien con el are there. Pero es sí. ¿Por qué arder? No sé, creemos que, so, creemos que se escucha bien al oído. Mm, pero recuerden que si decimos a o an, uh -huh. significa que es singular, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, so is, is there an opera? Is there, is there an, an opera? opera? Yes, yes. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. But, it, but it, it is not listen very good. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. And that was that is the only question that we have. The confusion. You mm -hmm. finish, right? Me los puedo yes. 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 Okay. <coughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> finish. Hola. Pues sí. Ay, no me han dicho todo todavía. Todavía falta dicho. <ríe> Así veo. Once, doce, trece. Hola, hola. Hi, Luis Edgardo. Hi. Vaya, vamos a compartir la presentación. Again. Let's see, no, uh, number one, books on the table. Is there or are there? There. Are there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are. There, there are. are books. There ah, are books. It's, a, it's a sentence. It's not a question. Yes, there are. Okay. So we say there are. Y como habíamos dicho que para que la razón se vea más bonita. Le vamos a poner son. Oh. Sí. There are some books on the table. What about number two? There are many cars are many in, cars the in the street. Mm -hmm. There are many cars in the street. Number three? There is a picture on the wall. There is a picture on the wall. Number four? There is a there pencil. Is a pencil. There is a pencil. Number five. There, there are, are many, many trees. Many trees in the forest. Exactly. There are many trees in the forest. Number six. There, there is, a, is cat a cat under, under the table. table. Aha, there is a cat under the table. Number seven. There, there are, are seven, seven apples in the fridge. There are seven apples in the fridge. Number eight. Okay. There is a dog, there is a the dog in the house. A dog in the house. Espérenme que me acabo de acordar de algo. Que les traía algo a mis hijas a mediodía. Y ahí está en la lonchera y me olvidó dárselo. Qué va a ser? <ríe> Es que vengo en la tarde, vengo pero corriendo a meterme a otra clase. Me olvidó. Se me olvidó. Bye. Bye. Number nine. There is a monkey on the tree. On the tree. Pues sí, There is. Vamos a ver. A ver lo que dice. There is a he on the tree. There are, there are, there are many rooms in my house. In my house. Yeah. There are many rooms in my house. Nice. Questions. No, verdad? That's easy. No. 
That's okay. easy. Very good. Vámonos a la otra. A ver, questions. Is there an opera on your city? Is there an opera in your city? Number two. Are there many Are there girls many in your in class? class? Are there many girls in your class? Is there a police station near the hospital? Uh -huh. uh, is there a police station? Is there hospital? number four? Are are there any bananas in the basket? Uh -huh. Are there any bananas in the basket? And the last one? Are, are there, there trees, trees in the park? In the park? Mm -hmm. Are there any, verdad? Uh -huh. Are there any trees in the park? Questions? No. No questions. Yes, teacher. Uh, number four and five. Mm -hmm. uh, Podríamos utilizar en vez de any some? No. Some is only for affirmative. Y any is for negatives and questions. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Some is for some is for negative some questions. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other question there? Recuerden, vamos a hacer una pregunta. Este usamos any. Vamos a hacer una negativa, usamos any. Vamos a hacer una afirmativa, usamos some. ¿Verdad? Any question? Any other question there? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> no, teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> Not a check. We have no questions. Vaya, let's go then to the next one. A ver. Negatives. Mm -hmm. People. There aren't many people in the streets. Uh -huh. There aren't many people in the streets. Number two. There isn't, there isn't butter. any butter. There isn't any butter in the fridge. Number three. There aren't any, there aren't plates, any plates on plates the same table. table. There aren't any place on the table. Mm -hmm. There isn't any there isn't any on the bottle. the bottle. Exactly. There isn't any milk in the bottle. Uh -huh. There isn't there is any, any coffee, coffee in the cup. cup. There isn't any coffee. There isn't any coffee in the cup. Yeah. Questions over there? No questions? No, teacher, thank you. Bacha. Nos vamos a ir al, al, al manual. Ya, nos vamos a ir al, al manual ahorita. 
we are going to move to the following page, right? To work that exercise. Mm -hmm. Vale, me lo llevo al manual directo. Check in your manual, you go to page 20. Page number 20. Page 20. Ve, al manual me lo escribe mal. Page 20. Aquí está. Vaya. What you're going to do here is read the sentences and find the mistake. There is a mistake in each sentence. Number one, there are two branches. Mm -hmm. There is two branches in El Salvador. There are. There are two branches in El Salvador. There are. Uh -huh. There are two branches. A ver. Espera. Démosle tiempo. Lo abrume, pobrecito. <laughs> Nah, qué barbaridad, Manuel. Vaya, vamos a ver hoy. Ahí está. There are two branches in El Salvador. Yep. There are one facilities available. There is Please one facility is available. There is one facility available. There is a new offices. There are a new offices. Mm -hmm. Is there a new office? There. Is there a new office? Ah, no, uh, no sería, are there new office? But it's not a question, right? There is a new office. Ah, ahí tienen dos formas. Blanco, Aquí lo voy a there is a new office. O. O. What's the other There one? are a new offices. Y la a. There, there are some new offices. Mm -hmm. There are some new offices. Igual en esta. You can say there are some facilities available. Yeah. A ver here. Teacher, y en la tercera no podría ser en forma de pues. En forma de no, pregunta? no, no es pregunta. No es pregunta. No. Y como lo que nos están mandando es que la corrijamos, no que la transformemos. Ah, ok. Ok. ¿Verdad? Entonces, no. Ok. There are not... Uh, the, there not are materials. <laughs> there <laughs> there are are Yo creo que lo que necesito. 
Mm -hmm. There aren't materials to work. There are not materials. There aren't. Mm -hmm. Materials. There aren't materials to work. Mm -hmm. There aren't materials to work. Ahí está. And number five. There is not. There, there are, there not, are not three, three boxes in the lobby. There are not three. There are not three boxes in in the lobby. Uh -huh. There are no three boxes, or there are in three boxes if you want to use the contraction. Berta? Any questions? No question, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Now, we are going to work in this exercise. You're going to create a two-minute conversation. Can be, can be a conversation or a description, ok? About your companies where you work. Tell the company's location, how many branches, if there are branches in San Salvador, okay? So you can use the model conversation from, a, from exercise two. And remember to use there is and there are, okay? Vaya, allá vamos otra vez a los groups. But right now, what you're going to do is talk about the company where you work. Talk about the companies where you work and describe it using the is and there are. And be ready to share. Vamos a ver, lo voy a cambiar de nuevo. Tengo, okay, seven groups. Ah, I'm going to make seven groups again. Just make it again. But sure, allá vamos. Remember, describe your companies using the is and there are. Okay. Um, um, what can I tell you? Um, I work for the uh, clinics networks network. No, sería? Clinic dentist network. Mm -hmm. And we have a um, eighteen branchers, and we have a San Miguel, Santa Rosa, Santa Ana, San Salvador, Apopa. Uh huh. There are many. <laughs> Yeah, it's mm, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, we have a three. We have there is no one, there is no one in San Salvador. Uh -huh. No, sería there is is it? ¿Dónde está? En el diálogo decía esa palabra, pero. Oh, there is not. There is no one, it's okay. 
Ah, ah, pero estamos hablando de que no hay ninguna persona o que no hay ninguna ram, ninguna 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 There branch. Not, There isn't any branch. Porque no one es para persona. Thank you, teacher. Any branch? Ay, Dios branch. Mío, ¿por qué la? Branch. Uh -huh. There is any branch. Branch. Uh -huh. Branches. No, there isn't branch. any branch or there aren't any branches. It's on Salvador. Póngale there aren't any mejor, there aren't any branches. Ajá, que se vaya en plural. There aren't. There aren't any branches. Mm -hmm. Plural. Va, entonces podría, podríamos como preguntar, are there, are there, there isn't branch? one jet, decían eso. Mm -hmm. Any branch in Usulután, for example. Uh -huh. Or in the Orient. No, pero como aquí lo estamos cambiando, porque esa es una idea. Nosotros la estamos haciendo de nuestra manera. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá. Por eso utilizamos el de Armeni Branches de Salvador. Teacher, ¿qué significa few? Few. Uh -huh. V. I E W. No. Er. Few. E W. Poco, creo yo. Pocas. 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 Vaya, pero para poner... Vaya. Yes, but, mm. but, vamos a poner but. There are not. 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 not. There are not. There are not. There are not. There are not. In the branches. In the country. In el, the country, in the país, ¿verdad? Sí, in the country, sí. But there are the not country. many branches in the country. In the country. O película que se le extrae a las... Va, entonces hoy sí le pregunto, ¿verdad? What company do you work? What company? What company? Do you do you work for? For? Okay. Uh, entonces, yo contesto. Yo veo que todavía I work in a in a company. Drugstores. Um, Torre Futura. Voy a preguntarle, eh, Luis, ¿cuántas sucursales hay? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Sería. Um, How many brands? So are, How many? Are there any, any, are no, there estamos branch? preguntando how many, ¿cómo se decía sucursal? Branch. Branches. 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 In the. Are there. Are there. How many branches? Are there. In the, ajá, uh -huh, correcto. How many branches are there? 
there are two branches, one in San Salvador and one in San Miguel. San Michael. Uh -huh. Okay. One in, una en San Miguel, one in San uh -huh. y, y en one in San Salvador. En, uh -huh. One or other teacher. Y le podemos preguntar. Un segundito, que se me va a descargar. Un segundito. Un segundito. Un segundito. Ok, ok, ok. Teacher. Chami. Eh, is one in San Miguel and one in San Salvador o one in San Miguel and other in San Salvador? No, that's okay. One in San Miguel. Ah, okay. That's okay. Ok. Podríamos poner, what do you in... Your hub. What is? What do you in your hub? What do you do? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué haces tú en el trabajo? No. Porque es más usando de la. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces. O mejor. ¿Cuántas personas hay en la oficina, por ejemplo? Entonces sería... Viaja a Centroamérica. Sería... Sí, Is Grace... Bueno, do you... Do you travel? Trip for travel? Sí, Dicho, esa sería la pregunta para preguntarle a Noé si, que si él viaja a Centroamérica. Do you, do you travel to travel? Estamos hablando de muchos. Si crees que se los ponga todos, se los ponga todos. No, travel to see solamente. Casi no le escucho, Ticha. Do you travel to Central America? Do you travel to Central Una bebida. Central America, ok. Una... Do you subscribe? Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Fine. I'm working. <laughs> working, thinking. Working. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. And if we use it as a question, what did he say that he was his companion? Es una consultoría. Empresa, consultoría de proyectos de construcción. Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> yes. There yeah. are uh, like there are are there many people working at your company? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there many? That's a question. Mm -hmm. Maya. Y la respuesta sería? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. About... Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are many people. Sí, o como decir, alrededor de unas 50 personas. Yes, there are around. Around 50. Oh, empleados, employees. 50 employees. Ok. Yo creo que tenemos una buena conversación. Sí. Hasta ahorita y ya usamos en pregunta, en respuesta. Sí. 
sin negativos que no tenemos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah. Oh. And, and what about your company? Uh -huh. and, um, there isn't many people. We are just five employees. Entonces, después de su respuesta, uh -huh. sería, what about your company? Uh -huh. There aren't many people. There aren't, right? There aren't many people. Yeah. There aren't many people. Okay. There aren't many people. Ahora sí, los tenemos todos. Uh -huh. Están las preguntas. Afirmativo. Y en negativo. Y negativo. Uh -huh. Ok, we finish, teacher. Ok, great, great. ¿Será que todos habrán terminado ya? I hope so, because we have we have only five minutes left. Exactly. exactly. Me los llevo. Everybody, no, not everybody. We see, okay. Vaya. A ver, a ver, who will be my first volunteer? Ajá. Rosy, do you want? Ok. Ok. In my company, there are 23 branches. There are 12 in Sonsonate, the rest of them in Aguachapan, Santa Ana, Santa Tecla, Metapan, and Carasucia. There aren't any branches in San Salvador. Alicia? Are there any branches in Usulután? No, there isn't one yet in Usulután. Thank you. Okay, excellent. One more, one more pair of volunteers. Aha, Luis. Luis Mauricio. Teacher, está enojado con usted porque lo dejó este listo. Para, el diálogo, para practicar el diálogo. When I call you. Oh, that's very. Oops. 
Five. Oops, sorry. <laughs> this is your moment. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. But uh, I don't think Luz, Luz Angelica. So. <laughs> Who were your partners? Los Angelica no. and Rosy. Y no. <laughs> yeah, eh, Rosy, pero creo que sabe de oyente. Uh -huh. ¿Quién, Rosy? No. ¿Sí? Eh, eh, ¿Lo Carolina. hicimos? Ah, ok, Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> Teacher, Rosy ya participó, no le voy a poner cero. Exactly, Rosy ya participó. No. <laughs> <laughs> eh, lo hicimos con Luis, entre él y yo. Ok. Ok. Hello, my name is Luz. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, my name is Mauricio. Where do uh, you work? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you work, Mauricio? <laughs> ok. I'm working at San Roque's Pharmacy. And what do you work? Where do you work? Sorry. Ok. I work from Dental Group. It's a dental clinics network. How okay. many branches do you have? I have a 23 branches in my company. And uh, there is a, there are three in Santa Ana City. There are uh, two Santa Tecla City, three Aguachapan. There are uh, two Carasucia. There are two in Carasus. Ah, sorry. <laughs> you know, there are two Carasusia. Quien no se lavó la cara now? There is a one in Metapan City and 12 Sonsonate City. In Sonsonate in Metapan in City. Yes. Okay. And there isn't any branches in the Oriental uh, area. Uh, uh, Area. Okay. Yes. And uh, how how many branches you have in? Oh, uh, there are seventeen branches around the country. We have uh, there are three in Santa Ana, three in San Miguel, uh, ten in San Salvador. That's it. Okay. Okay. In the final, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't find it because you called. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay, excellent. It's time. It's yes. time. I'm going to call attendance. <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Adriana. <laughs> Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present. Carolina, Abigail. Claudia, Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia. Present. Diego. Edwin. Present teacher. Hoy le toca quedarse, ¿verdad, Edwin? No. That's right, sí. Yes. Ay, yo ya siento que ya es martes, pero no, ¿verdad? Todavía es lunes. <risa> Ay, es que lunes, lunes es mi día largo. Vaya, eh, Edwin, sí, Edwin, hoy le toca. Elmer Alexis. Teacher, I'm here, Diego, sorry. Ok, Diego. Grace Michelle. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Is go to karaoke, present teacher. <laughs> no, porque hoy no es viernes. For me, sí. <laughs> ah, for you, yeah. Ok, Noé Ortiz. Present teacher. 
Rosa Hilda. Present okay. teacher. Ah, okay. Present. Ah, Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Perdimos a Luz. Joana. Joana. Present. Sorry. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, José Alfredo, José Alfredo. No. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. And David. Present teacher, ahí está José Alfredo. Me está diciendo. Y medio le escuché allá. ¿Cómo es que anda por San Miguel? Por allá quizás anda. Anda por San Miguel. Vaya, pues, bueno, a disfrutar de dormir. Y nos vemos mañana. Bye, bye. Good night, Good night. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. bye. Duerma mucho. Ok, ok. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Ready, Edwin. Ready. Hay una, hay una clase que ese día estuve de oyente porque tenía, estaba trabajando todavía. Uh -huh. Que es el eh, de la unidad uno, que es how to use what clauses. What clauses? Clauses, uh -huh. Vamos a ver. En la página 12. Shame. Busco. Karen. Ahí se había quedado Karen. Vaya, <ríe> vamos. <ríe> vamos sí. a ver. What clauses? Si no me equivoco. Era por aquí, por la clase 3. Imperativos. Oh, mire. Aquí tenemos el repaso. Aquí está el resto, entonces, en la clase número 2. Aquí está mejor. A ver qué no me... Porque le quiero poner la, la presentación donde está. Vamos a ver si, si me la deja. Tenía muchas, muchas cosas abiertas.
De Tadeo Radán, este. Uh -huh. Ya tiene sueño. Sí. Ya, pues no me deja compartir. Ah. Aquí está. Uh -huh. This is the... Me cuenta si puede ver la presentación donde dice What Closes. Sí. No, ahorita solo veo... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Dónde están los archivos? Clase 1, clase 2, clase 3 y el curso de inglés. Sí. La portada. No sé por qué no me quiere dejar compartir. Ahí está. No tenía varias cosas abiertas, decía, pues uh -huh. no. Va, ahí está, check. We, we, we talk about uh, what clauses. The purpose of a what clause is to call your attention, right? To call your attention to a specific part of the sentence. For example, when you say, we gave them some homemade cake. So, como que, ah, vaya, no pasa nada, ve. Pero si usted dice, what we gave them was some homemade cake. Entonces usted quiere llamar la atención a esta parte de la oración. Ajá. Por ejemplo, cuando la mamá le dice al niño, lo que te dije es que te bañaras. Ajá. ¿Qué quiere la mamá? Que el niño se bañe. Sí. Right? Entonces, uh -huh. that's the purpose of the what <coughs> To, to make emphasis uh -huh. or, or to call the attention to a specific part of a sentence. So check here. When we also, when we want to introduce a new topic also, we want to give the reason or instruction or explanation. Or if we want to correct something we said, we use uh, that what, right? Uh -huh. What I like you to work on is the revision of exercise. Lo que yo quiero es llamar la atención a esto. Es yeah. que mi confusión es como, pues si una, una pregunta ocupa el what, uh -huh. Ajá. Por ejemplo, Pero, what sí. significa qué. Qué. ¿Verdad? Es. Pero en, esta pre, en este caso, el what no está actuando como pregunta. Como pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sirve Lo, para dar énfasis al complemento de la oración. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si le dice en lo que quiero que trabajes, uh -huh. es en la revisión del ejercicio. Uh -huh. Isa uh -huh. arrived two hours late. What had happened was that his bicycle chain had broken. Uh -huh. Siempre, después de esta frase, de la double H clause, vamos a uh -huh. tener el verbo to be, en presente o en pasado. ¿Verdad? We can often put the what clause either in at the beginning or at the end. Check it. What mm -hmm. upset me most was his rudeness. His rudeness was what upset me most. Entonces, mm -hmm. lo que me enojó fue su rudeza. Mm -hmm. Su rudeza fue lo que me enojó. Mm -hmm. You can change, right? So you can put it either at the beginning or at the end. Mm -hmm. Y este, esta estructura nos sirve también para dar énfasis. Uh -huh. yeah. so what makes me really angry is the claim that fox hunting is a traditional sport. Uh -huh. What I told you, what I said, entonces sería una frase, ¿verdad? Si yo digo, what I said is that tomorrow is Tuesday. Yeah. Uh -huh. What I said is that the vacation is in two weeks. Entonces es como para darle énfasis a algo o para llamar la atención sobre una parte de la oración. Entonces para eso es que se utiliza esta, esta double H. Ajá, double H plus. Eh, pueden ser usadas otras, otras cosas, no solamente what, ¿verdad? Pero en este... En eso el... le iba a preguntar que si solo que aparte de what podían utilizarse otras. No, se pueden usar otras. Es, son llamadas noun clauses, noun clauses, y se puede usar when, where, eh, por ejemplo, si usted dice, where I live, is beautiful, 
Entonces, my closet where I live. Y quiero llamar la atención hacia el resto de la oración. Entonces, el, 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 el uso llega, llega el mismo. Pero eh, esta es como una de las más comunes, ¿verdad? Lo que yo dije es, entonces, está dando en ese clase cuando usted dice, what I said, es como para corregir algo que dijo. Right? What I said. What you have to do, instruction. Right? What you have to do is print the page. Entonces, se puede utilizar en cualquiera de estas cosas. Yeah? Sí. What we are going to talk about today is introduce a new topic. Entonces, lo único que eh, le da así como un poquito más de atractivo porque es como para cachar más la atención. Sí, para, como dice, para enfocarse. ¿va? Exacto, uh -huh. para enfocarse a que, a que le pongan un poquito más de atención a esta parte que es la que se quiere enfocar, ¿verdad? Que es la, la segunda parte de la oración. Porque en realidad lo importante aquí no es la, la what close. La what close es solamente para introducir eh, la parte importante de la oración. Es, es más que todo para eso. Okay. Uh -huh. sí, porque ya realmente sí, no es lo mismo decir la oración sin el what. ¿Verdad? Porque uh -huh. ya se siente... No sé, más simple, digamos. Ajá, imagínense que usted dice, Isa arrived two hours late because his bicycle chain had broken. Uh -huh. Así como que, ajá. Isa arrived two hours late. What had happened uh -huh. was that his bicycle chain had broken. Lo que había pasado. Sí. Ajá, entonces le da así como más énfasis uh -huh. a lo que quiere decir. Sí. ¿Verdad? No sé si sí, tiene bueno. alguna otra pregunta. Yo sé que solamente eso, pero sí ya me queda un poquito más claro. Porque si en ese momento sí estaba un poco desenfocado, no estaba enfocado en la clase, dicen que en las cosas del trabajo, pero sí, sí ya me... Se y voy a buscar con... ejercicios para, para, para ver la aplicación. Ok. Sí. Excelente. Que solamente esa era, sí, era la... la la duda que tenía hasta el momento. Ok, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Bueno, see you tomorrow bueno. then. Have see a nice tomorrow. day. Igualmente. A mí me cuesta todavía hablar así en inglés. <risa> sí, pero con el tiempo. Ya, ¿no? van ya vamos a, a mejorar. Exacto. Bueno, good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.